Hi, my name's Eliami, and I'm 18 years old. While other girls my age are already dating, I'm still not allowed to have a boyfriend. I know that sounds sad or depressing, but the funny thing here is, my parents aren't even responsible for the reason why I don't get any dates. But my older brother is. He's my only sibling and my parents are quite busy with their restaurant business, so they sort of left the parenting to my older brother, Logan. It was actually pretty cool at first, cause Logan allowed me to do whatever I wanted as long as it didn't involve any boys. When I was younger, I didn't mind at all. We were practically inseparable. He would walk me to class and wait for me outside whenever he could. We would have lunch together, go to the movies, or even go to dances together. I felt like I didn't really miss out on the whole fun boyfriend-girlfriend relationship life as my older brother was enough for me at that time. Although everything changed when a really cute and sexy guy named Justin transferred to our school. He was in most of my classes and we even both laughed when we were assigned to be activities partners. We got pretty close over time, but nevertheless, Logan seemed to dislike Justin for some odd reason. He even said that Justin looked like trouble that he needed to get rid of. For a moment or two, I was so confused as to where that came from because I was very sure that they hadn't spoken to each other. So I was quite lost as to why he brought that up. One faithful day, Justin asked me out on a date. He wanted to watch a movie with me and grab some burgers and milkshakes after. So I told him I would call him that same night to confirm things. Later on, I was having dinner with my parents when I told them about Justin. I asked for their permission to go out with him, and fortunately for me, they said yes. They actually looked happy for me, but of course, Logan wasn't. His face looked so pissed and so irritated, just about a minute after, he excused himself from the dinner, claiming that he wasn't feeling hungry anymore. He then banged the table, stamped his feet, and left. Just as I was about to go to sleep, I heard a knock on my bedroom door. And to my surprise, it was Logan. I was scared at first. I thought he was going to slap me or something. But the opposite happened. He just walked in with a glass of milk, handed it over to me, and apologized for what happened during dinner. He also asked me about Justin, what he was like, and what I like about him. Then after that, he said goodnight and left. After a few hours, I wasn't so sure if I was still awake or if I was dreaming, but I felt someone touch me. I was too sleepy and weak to do anything about it, so I just allowed it. And that was the last thing that I remember from that night. The next morning, I passed by Logan's room and realized he wasn't there, so I assumed he went for his early morning jog. I went inside out of curiosity because it's been a while since I checked his room out and he always kept it locked often. I was shocked when I saw his computer screen. It was a photo of me on what looked like my body, so I went closer and saw a folder in the desktop with my name on it. I opened it and to my surprise, he had all my nudes? I also noticed that he didn't take his phone with him while jogging, so I had to check it. I went into his gallery and saw a video that was taken in my bedroom. And to my horror, what happened last night was not a dream, but it was definitely a reality. I can't believe my own brother raped me. What would you have done if you were in my shoes? Let me know in the comment section. I'll be excited to hear your opinions and what you thought about the video. Also, don't forget to share the video, like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss an upload from us. See you in the next one. What are you waiting for? The video's over. Come on, go watch another video on the channel. Go, the video is over.